Uh, good morning, everybody. Hope you're all well. Hope you weren't long arm. <laughs> Hope you were short arm. Um, anyway, let's take a look at this. So arm, obviously, big AI stock, blah, 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 AI this, AI that. Well, listen, man, markets are about psychology and supply and demand. And I don't care how good a future prospect is on something. If the market runs out of buyers, there's no one left to push the price any higher. And that's when things head south, right? Like if people are overly optimistic, what do they do? They invest their funds. And when they're done investing, there's no one left to push the price higher, right? Famous story was Joe Kennedy, uh, the Kennedy family patriarch there, the father of the president. He was a Wall Street operator back in the 20s, probably their version of what would have been a hedge fund manager. And he was walking to work one day and he was getting a shoe shine and the shoe shine boy gave him tips on the stock market. And he went to work and he sold everything and the market crashed and, you know, the rest is history. Why would that shoe shine boy buying stocks be a good signal for Joe Kennedy to sell? Well, when people who don't typically buy stocks like shoe shine boys are buying, there's no one left to push the price higher. So at that point, fundamentals don't matter. All right. Anyway, let's take a look at ARM. I know a lot of my people here are short term day traders. So I just want to point out some price levels that we should pay attention to. First of all, it's trading at 99. So you know there's going to be a little bit of activity at 100 because people just like nice round levels. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here around 95 and a half where there has been support. Now, there tends to be support at levels that were support before. There's a reason for this. There are people who sold while the shares were at support who decided they made a mistake when the price went higher. And they say, man, I made a mistake. If I can buy my shares back at the same price I sold them at, I'm going to. So remorseful sellers placing buy orders at the level that had been support can keep the support intact. So downside, we're looking at 95 and a half. And then on the upside, I would key in on this price level right here, 103.20. All right. And we can see here that this level was resistance and then it became support. This happens too because of seller's remorse. People sell. And then when the price goes higher, they say, eh, man, I made a mistake. I want to buy my shares back. But anyway, this support is broken and support has a tendency to convert into resistance because there are people who bought at support. And when the price goes lower, they say, I made a mistake. If I can get out of this at break even, I'm going to. So if it rallies back up to the level that was support, remorseful buyers placing sell orders could create resistance there. So anyway, if I was trading this, which today I'm actually not because, uh, I got some errands to do, but, um, and I, you know, I don't, I don't know if I would trade this, it's, but, but whatever. I mean, everyone has a different, different style and they like different things, but anyway, uh, just to kind of sum up on the downside, look for support around 95 and a half. And on the upside, look for resistance around 103.20. And as I speak, 8.51 AM stock is trading at 99. All right, everybody. I hope that helps. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Thanks.